All right, it is August 25th, and um, I thought I would show you the house as to where we're at so far because things are going to change um, now that school has started. We can't work on it as much. Um, well, Tyler can't anyway, since he's the one who really does everything. I wanted to kind of um, keep you up to date because basically the the building part of the house is done, the, the main construction, and now it's doing stuff with the roof and getting the soffits and fascia on the new part of the house and siding and windows in and, and all of that sort of stuff. So the main building's down. I wanted to catch you up because I think the blog might slow down a little bit. So here's an outside view of the house. And by the way, it has been so hot. As you can see, I'm sporting my Phil Jones. He's from Iowa. He's a drummer. Anyway, you should check him out. Uh, he drummed with Tom Petty. So here we go. Here's the outside of the house as best as I can get an angle. So all of this here on the side that's just got sheathing, it isn't covered in anything, all of that, that is obviously all new construction, um, which is what we put on top of the hole. That's where the giant hole was, where the basement was. So we'll go inside. Um, it's just, it's hard no matter what I do with pictures to get good angles so that you can actually see see what the inside of the house looks like. So sometimes the video helps a little bit more with that. And a reminder, we weren't planning on doing all of this. Um, certainly did not want to tear this much apart of the house and have to uh, completely start over and, and build all this additional stuff. Our, our plans were to gut the house, fix any wiring, electrine, pl plumbing, and then reseal it back up, but not do everything we've had to do because it was wrong. Okay, so you've been in here, and unfortunately it's really dark because it's, we still don't have the windows in, um, but this is the living room, which you, you have seen this before. It just has, we have wood separated out into different piles. I'll try to make sure I go the same way I went previously. So it's a long living room. We go back here. Uh, there was previously a window there. Well, an air conditioner. And so that will be a window. Um, there was a wall here, and there isn't any more. And this is the dining room. That'll be a bay window. And right here, this will be um, full light French doors that will go out to a porch. This is still the stairwell to the basement which is much larger now, but I still can't show you the basement because there's no light down there, and so it is pitch black. So previously we went through here, and here's where the kitchen is. All right, none of this stuff is new, but here's where we get to the new part. So here's the addition that we built on. Now this doorway is the old doorway. So the doorway will be moved over. What we'll be walking into here will be kind of like the mudroom area. Tyler is super into benches, so there'll be like a bench to put your shoes and, I don't know, some shelves or something, and put your coat. And then this will be a full light door, which you can see, um, we just put that in so that the animals didn't come in because we had some raccoons come in. So that will be, there'll be a door there that will walk out. And this right here, this framed is um, a closet where we'll have a washer and dryer in this closet so you can open up the door and they'll be in there. And then over on this side, this is a framed doorway where you will open the door in to the downstairs bathroom. We'll have some kind of like a just little pedestal sink here, um, a stool, and then this is a this is a window in here, and then we have this closet here, so that changes the space. But this over here will be um, a shower, which I think Tyler said would be like four by four, so it's still pretty um, decent size. Funny note: uh, when you're looking for farm house old style um, 
you know, sinks and all that kind of stuff. Apparently that's really in right now on the Pinterest. And so there is a bunch of yuppie stuff instead of stuff that looks more authentic, which is very frustrating. Okay. Because I'm not trying to be in. This is actually an old farmhouse. So up the steps, which again, they will rotate direction sometime. We just want to get the house closed in. And as usual, we have NPR on. Okay. Upstairs. This is uh, previously where we walked into a bedroom. The plan is it's all one big lofted space. So in between these two windows right here is where we're gonna put a bed. And then Tyler's gonna build in some closets over here. So there'll be one over here. And then on the other side of this window, there'll be another, it's like eight feet or something. And then we'll put like some sort of drawer, desk or something in there. Let me turn NPR down. Um, inside there. This was previously just one little bedroom. And then over here, of course, this was not here. This is where the gabled roof came down. And where this wood is on the floor, you couldn't, you couldn't walk. That was where the roof came down. So now that is all up and open, which, like I said, was not something we were intending to do, but needed to do because we had to uh, fix some of the beams and the rafters and then it just became easier to just tear the whole roof off but so now we have this giant window which I just love here I don't know what we're gonna put up here obviously at least one drum set all right and there'll be a window on this side all right and here's the new part that was just built we have to connect the flooring so right now it's just kind of braced up so here's the addition. Man, I even can't get this in a video shot very well. That was just finished being built and has the roof. There's still a couple places we have to tie in and sheath on that side. Um, and then on the outside of this. So you'll walk in here and this whole half is gonna be a bathroom, which will be gigantic. So much like downstairs, except there isn't a closet. So it's bigger. And then on this side, where this window goes out, um, some sort of desk for like an office computer type area. Fun note, we've had three thunderstorms so far this week, three days in a row, and our poor linden tree uh, bit the bullet during one of those storms. So, got sticks everywhere. So this is the, what the house looks like now that it's built um, to where it's actually going to be built. There obviously there'll be a wall here and a doorway and that sort of thing. So all we have, um, all we have left, the plan is to uh, take and make sure we get everything sealed and enclosed. So we need to get the windows in and finish this part and, um, of the sheathing and put the shingles on the roof and then also side the house finish tar papering the house and side it and then um, and then we just kind of wait till we have enough money to start doing the finishing um, which obviously like I said we weren't gonna we weren't planning on having to do all this and build the new basement and and build the new roof and and have this additional addition and tear down the old addition and completely rebuild it um, so that has changed our timeline drastically. The basement alone uh, ended up sucking out five weeks of our time and, and actually building this whole structure. Um, the two parts of the addition probably only took two weeks, so you can see that the basement was rather frustrating experience. Um, so we just want to get it enclosed and once we start getting enough money in since we're doing this all ourselves with very little bank help then <laughs> we can um, start putting the electricity and and that sort of stuff in 
So if you're down in the lakes, make sure you come and visit because it is freaking awesome. And although he'll never say it, Tyler is absolute mastermind of this whole thing. And even when he messes up and we have to do something three more times, I still think he's brilliant because I can't. I would never be able to figure it out. So drop him a line, tell him he's doing a good job, and um, come out and see the house sometime. We won't be living in it for a long time, but it's pretty awesome. All right, bye.